Welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to make a, I'm going to say a yellow rice, but you can call it a red rice, a Hispanic rice. And I'm using, it's going to be with beans. And I think we call that cured pork or salted pork. Okay. So I have half of the package. I rinse it up and I cut it in slices. Here is one can of red beans and I drain the water and I wash them and you can use fresh beans but you have to cook it first two envelopes of sazon con culandria chote this is for color and one envelope of the uh, ham and you can use the bouillon this is the sofrito homemade sofrito and I had a video on how to make sofrito and you don't have this you can definitely cut some onions pepper fresh garlic cilantro and recao which is the long strong leaf okay and i have approximately two and a half tablespoon of the sofrito i have one eight ounces can of tomato sauce but i'm only going to use four ounces or half of the can and i have some oregano some cumin and we have this saucepan in here we most of the time we use the caldero which is the iron i don't um pack i don't know if that's it right but i'm using the stainless steel because somebody asked me is i can and you know she don't have the caldero so she can still make the rice in this kind of uh stainless steel pack so i'm going to show you know i'm going to show her and i'm going to show whoever is interested in this recipe how to make the rice in this um stainless steel um saucepan so I'm going to put my midi, my heat in medium because the stainless steel is like, um you know, you can cook at a high temperatures, okay? This is optional. I have a shote oil um, and I also have a video on how to make this. But uh, if you don't have this, um, you can definitely add just regular oil. And the oils is optional because remember the salted or the cured pork have oil. If you don't want to add no oil, you just leave it out. So we're going to saute this and this is going to take a couple of minutes, probably, I want to say probably seven to 10 minutes to saute um, the uh, cured pork or the salted pork. Just move it constantly. You don't want them to be burned. You want them to be just crispy and take the flavor out. Some people drain some of the oil. If you think that's going to be too much oil, you can drain a little bit. You can take the a little bit out. Now I'm going to add my sofrito and I'm going to saute this. And like I say, if you don't have sofrito and you want to add some fresh vegetables like onions, peppers, garlic, cilantro. So this is the time. You're just going to cut a little bit of everything and you can cut in small pieces. So just put it in the blender. Now I'm going to add half of the can of tomato sauce. Add approximately four ounces. I'm going to add one envelope of the uh, chicken, um, sorry, hen powder bouillon, but you also can use the, the, the bouillon, just the hard one. And the two envelopes of the sazon. And I'm going to make three cups of rice. And the rice I use, the rice I use is the long grain. Now I'm going to add four cups of water, okay? I'm going to add some oregano and some, I'm sorry, some cumin and some oregano. Remember the, uh, the uh, cured pork has salt, so you want to check for salt. If you think you're going to taste that water, if you think you need more salt, and then you're going to judge the, the salt to your taste, okay? But I'm going to taste it, and I'm going to make sure... So my, I'm going to add a little bit of salt, but that's depend on your taste, okay? Now my water is boiling. I never wash my rice, but if you want to wash your rice, you're going to go ahead and wash your rice, drain the water real good, and then you're going to add that in there. But I never wash my rice, so. And I have three, four cup of water, 
and three cups of long grain rice. And I know somebody asked me what kind of um, rice I use. I use Rico, R-I-C-O, Rico rice. So you can use, you know, whatever brand name you want, but just in case, because some people ask me. So I'm going to lower the heat a little bit. My stove is electric, but I'm going to put it in number six. So don't put it in too high because it's not, your rice is going to smell like burn. It's going to burn and it's not going to taste good. So make sure you control the temperature. Just lower a little bit. And when you see the water like this, you see evaporate not too much, but evaporate sun. And then it's time to move the rice. So you're going to move the rice. And now you're going to cover, but make sure you lower the temperature. Um, number three, if you use an electric stove, put it in number three. And if you're using gas stove, and then you're going to put it in medium low. You're going to let it cook for 25 minutes, okay? Don't uncover the rice. Don't touch it. Just let it cook for 25 minutes. And number three, or medium low. So I I'm going to... I'm going to show you the final result after 25 minutes. Nine, now 20 minutes pass, and then you're going to stir your rice. Make sure it's done. The way you see it is when you touch the grain and it is soft, it's done. If you think your grain is a little bit hard, just leave it 5 to, to 10 minutes more. But mine is just perfect. If you follow my instruction, you're going to come out with nice and fluffy rice. So you can serve it with pork chop, fried chicken, or whatever you want. So my rice is done. Perfect. So here is the final result. Thank you for watching. Until the next video. Bye. God bless you. Mm -hmm.